Good afternoon everyone. It's a lovely day today. Today is, I think it's the last stroke of summer in the, in the UK at least. And we certainly enjoy uh, this um, mid-September um, warm, beautiful, uh, sunny weather, which we, as you know, we're not always spoiled uh, by. Anyway, so I'm uh, on my day off today and I'm taking this pleasure of doing things outside. One of the videos that I plan to do um, I said about it last week is something that has been on my mind as well as one of my favorite youtubers um, my very much respectful lady Miss Frankie Cat who is um, um, she's doing very honest reviews of stuff and um, also because this um, stuff um, i.e topic of brows has been also on my mind uh, for a while it's not that it is a massive problem for me but I have noticed that some brows are not as nice as they used to be and they um, also um, you know they in some patches they're not growing as well especially at the end uh, and I found it sorry I'm just trying to I'm using the headphones with microphone because I've noticed the sound on um, iPad if I do just just an iPad is not as good um, so I'm just using microphone but it creates I think it creates noise sorry about that um, so uh, brows I think for us is important a color a shape and how long it lasts uh, I don't like all these artificially made uh, brows by artificially I may I mean the um, shape which is almost like a piece of plastic being stuck on the brows and they, they walk with a very, very defined um, edges. It's just not natural because the brows should look natural and they should be seen little hair and um, the, the sh but the, the truth is that yes they need to be shaped and uh, to be to be able to to do that yes you, you need tweezers and um, a lot of people go to salon I don't I had a really bad experience about maybe a year and a half ago uh, they did threading it just came as just a thin line which i could perfectly do myself and there wasn't the proper shape uh, it was just really really thin and it took me forever to grow anything back because it just it just takes forever so since then i'm just doing my own tweezing and i use products so today is about product i wanted to go through uh, items that are not my favorite first probably and just talk to you about what i actually use I've just done a Russian video and as I was washing my hand after swatches, I was washing the swatches off, I've noticed a couple of things were very, very stubborn and wouldn't go off. And I had to put much warmer water with a soap and they still wouldn't come off. And the two things that came off absolutely last, only under duress and with the use of sponge, a rough end of a washing up sponge, um, I had to say that there were two items which I, sorry, which I didn't expect. So I talk about it at the end, so please bear with me. Um, okay, so the first item that I needed to mention is this Max, Max Factor. I bought it on Amazon. For some reason, I had the urge that I need something new. It was something really cheap, like five pounds or something. Uh, Max Factor, they do. They do have a lot of shape, um, shades, and this one is blonde. Yeah, it's number 10 blonde. There we go. Uh, I like the brush here. It's quite hard, uh, short, and it does, does the job. It does brush hair. I feel that it's a right approach, um, so it's quite an quite, um, honest review. What I don't like is that when I use... When I use this, you can see it's quite light. Uh, when I use it, it feels like there is a little bit of wax there or something that holds brows together. It certainly does, but it doesn't bring much color. Uh, so, but w when I use, when I do swatch, you'll see that. Yeah, it does go as it is quite waxy, you know. Um, it's probably for the reason, so it stays longer. But that's a color, and I think you see when I bent it too much, it it bends down, and I broke. It. I just broke it. But anyway, it's still possible. It's still possible. It's quite. Uh, it depends on what you want. Uh, but it, I find it. It takes me a very long time to do with this pencil. Um, so that is a one. Uh, the other one, which 
for some reason I'm not mad about I quite like Laura Mercy um, products and this is Laura Mercy ah, blonde as well what a surprise uh, so I found that I like um, those that I can sharpen up myself um, I don't know it does seem to be good maybe I didn't didn't give it fair use to be you know I really need to be fair maybe I should come to it and be a little bit more fair what I don't like here is a brush uh, that almost looks like a um, mascara brush I think for brows they need to be a little bit more stubborn they need to be a bit probably shorter harder um, I don't know I just didn't feel like this is a brows maybe maybe I don't know um, but I need to to give it a little bit more fair though you can see I had used it a bit um, and it's um, it's been sharpened down to sort of shorter length uh, this is Laura Mercy blonde and that's a swatch I hope you can see swatch as well what I really really like is uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills this is a really lovely lovely uh, pencil the color is taupe it's true taupe color um, I like the shape I think everything is right about this pencil the shape is you can see it's that and it goes flat so it's angled uh, I've used it of course and it's not angled anymore but it's it's really really comfortable to use I really love this pencil and it glides well and it stays on well and you can do thicker line you need a little bit of effort you can do thicker line or you can do thinner uh, it's a good color so I'm doing this in the order and then I show you when they wash off and then you might be surprised so I do it like that now so I'm really enjoying my day out today not out day off yes it is day out because I'm sitting outside all day I'm gonna do some sewing in a minute um, and I also like which I use quite a lot uh, Mac Amiga uh, Amiga pencil this is probably third of um, probably third pencil I'm already using um, I like the brush brush is smaller and a bit more tougher uh, the pencil as you see has been used used and used quite well I like everything about it I like a cool tone of it uh, you also need a little bit of effort to do it but I like it it works well all, always works well for me I had uh, be careful if you're using mark uh, you're choosing mark colors um, they have some that you they they look nice for blondes especially uh, for example honey but um, they're actually quite yellow ish it depends on the preference but it's just my my choice would be cooler uh, cooler blonde um, so this is the fourth one and I'm putting them in order there as you noticed so when I wash I know which one is which one is which uh, and then we do um, let's do that uh, Dior Dior is um, my favorite brand as you know and I'm I'm just I love every product uh, this one I use this sort of pencil for years and years and I always come to it, uh, it the, the down downside of it is it's ridiculously expensive for the amount of products there it's not it's not um, a lot uh, not like in any other pencil but actual um, actual result is is brilliant and it does I'll show you in a minute uh, I use it for edges more or less just to define the sort of boundaries of my brows uh, the ends the top line the bottom line the the side which is closer to the nose and and then a little bit of there but you do you can use that in very fine strokes to to make sort of imitate your hair um, it's it's nice it's nice uh, it stays on uh, it, you need to be very careful because the actual pencil is so thin and if you're not careful it it, uh, it did snap several times I used to do now I'm very super careful you, you you can take it out as much as that and it will give you a result so um, uh, the color is chestnut I use chestnut chestnut color uh, number zero two one I saw it somewhere there you go zero to one chestnut so that's a beautiful styler so that goes number five uh, now 
this is something that worked for me for years and years but only as in combination with others uh, I think it is important to have nice nicely defined boundaries though um, not to overdo it so it doesn't look like it's painted with one uh, one a thick brush but um, to define boundaries that that is very very helpful and then I would use this uh, I had used it uh, now I discovered it's actually drying up it's been I probably used it up it's been years <laughs> I had it for about three years I think uh, so that is that uh, gel it's still a lot there um, it's quite nice the nice brush is nice brush is very working a well working tool um, I don't know um, I think I'm probably just run out of it now then I use uh, this is legendary luscious um, and I was just saying that I wasn't sure about that um, I think because it just takes long for me to do anything with this so this is uh, this is going there uh, but the brush is good I like that little brush it, it does what it needs to do it, it gives you precision and the color uh, is I mean the good choice of colors as well um, uh, Charlotte Tilbury here we go um, I like that but I I just don't reach out to it too much but, um, and this is the and this is last but not least uh, benefit and benefits it's not a bad range actually you know but this is um, I think they only have like three colors of that I think I I uh, did get the right color or the consultant gave it to me I can't remember which one it is the key here is to keep the brush clean because when brush gets um, it's like a waxed creamy very like very hot it's hard wax but it's um it's still you know goes on the brush so you're using this let's just put it there um, it's quite pigmented uh, the a fact that the brush is quite hard and stubborn is very good i think for brows specifically and it's angled so you can you can do your shape as you wish um design is a bit fiddly i like it i like how it looks it's awkward to keep in the I can't keep it in the, in my stand for all the pencils so it's in a drawer uh, and that's why I forget about it sometimes but um, you can see it's quite pigmented so there are a variety of things so um, let's just go through uh, again uh, what it is and then just a little little note I always use this uh, Givenchy pencil uh, which is it's Mr. Eyebrow it's called it's basically uh, like a fixing fixing pencil it's nothing but pressed gel it's I guess it's the same idea someone was very clever to market it uh, it's the same idea as a pressed you know gel for hair uh, but in the shape of, of, a, of a pencil and I had it for a long time um, I must admit I don't always use it every day it depends on what I use so if you use gel uh, one of these gels here you don't really need that pencil uh, it's good for other pencils powder pencils so um, let's just repeat again so the first swatch is Max Factor then is Laura Mercy blonde so Max Factor blonde number 10 Laura Mercy blonde this is Anastasia Beverly Hills taupe taupe uh, this is Omega one two three four Omega fourth uh, Omega uh, by MAC cosmetics then I've got uh, this is Christian Dior um, chestnut number 021 uh, which is quite it looks it looks much warmer than others doesn't it no it's actually a nice pencil it's a really lovely pencil uh, then you've got gel this is Yves Saint Laurent which is now nearly finished uh, this one is um, Charlotte Tilbury legendary brows and this is um, benefit and the benefit I have in number two so I think it's a more so there we go one two three four five six seven eight let me go wash my hands 
and then I show you and you something and you might be surprised so the result is quite interesting I have I had to use uh, warm soapy water the first is really um, easy it was just warm water just a tiny bit of like I just rubbed my skin and number four and six came off um, very very easy four was uh, a MAC Omega pencil and number six was Yves Saint Laurent gel which is about time it retires actually um, so I decided to throw it away um, and uh, what really really was quite stubborn and difficult to remove even now you can see I'm, I'm kind of rubbing it uh, was Benefit this is the last swatch and it's Benefit even after soap and water so I actually had to use a sponge and hot water and soap to remove it so most stubborn things uh, turned out to be Benefit uh, that paste uh, pencil which I didn't really look at uh, favorably because I just didn't like the application process and I didn't like the finish it was more it's quite a lot of wax in it but I think it's because of the waxing in the formula it makes it very stubborn to remove um, I don't really think it's very important to uh, for day use but if you using if you're rubbing your face um, during the day and you touch your face inevitably we do I think or you just touch your face sit down thinking sometimes you touch your brows and uh, you want the product to stay on so max um, uh, max factor is that first one and then um, this is this is Charlotte Tilbury also I had um, you know I had to make some effort to remove and benefit so the three of these most last long lasting ones are uh, benefit uh, max factor and legendary luscious there we go so this is the result of my test um, and interesting interesting discovery so it proves the point that uh, what not everything is the best that is most expensive but the fact that it stays so long it doesn't doesn't necessarily mean it's the best uh, i just would like to have a little bit lighter shade uh, in this benefit uh, the number one there is too light and it's too yellowish i tried it so i probably will need to try this new pencil apparently they come up with uh, which is triangle shape and it's um it's uh, I, I, I heard good reviews on that so we'll see um, I wish you a pleasant evening and I see you soon